The next um, biggest thing that Freud brought to the world of psychology is his psychosexual theory of human development. So the first part was about our hidden desires. And the second part is about how our ego was developed, how our superego was developed about the conflicts between the ego and superego and about four stages that every child, every one of us went through and how those stages affected our adulthood. And he uses the term psychosexual stages. He believed that child's life is built around uh, the concept of tension and pleasure. And he called pleasure as a libido energy. Too much tension, uh, too much uh, control, and we have a fixation. Fixation is his word, which means too much tension, basically. And this fixation has a lasting effect in our childhood. Each stage uh, has some specific conflict that the child should resolve. And Freud believed that the first five years of our life is crucial to form our adult personality. And uh, those five, uh, st uh, there are five stages which he um, offered to the world of psychology. And you can remember them by a phrase, uh, old age parrots live grapes. Old stands for oral stage, uh, age stage for anal stage, when the person um, is going through the potty training. Parents stands for phallic stage. Uh, love stands for uh, latent period or latent stage. And grape stands for genital stage. And... Um, Later, Freud's follows expanded this theory, and I will share with you uh, expanded version and also add my explanation. Uh, and we'll try to find the simple words to describe uh, this complicated psychological theory. When people come to the therapist, they want to understand themselves. And in order to understand ourselves, we have to go back to our childhood. And the first stage that Freud was talking about is the oral stage. He um, did not talk about the uh, uh, prenatal period. His theory starts from the oral stage. And oral stage or oral fixation or oral type of personality is formed at the age uh, from 0 to 18 months. Uh, basically the first year, year and a half of, of baby's life. And the focus of libido, uh, the part of the body where a baby receives the biggest pleasure, is mouth. The baby receives pleasure by sucking milk or by chewing objects. Taking out from the mother's breast too early can lead to a serious problems later. A person might have problems with the weight. Uh, all type of eating disorder forms here. Uh, alcoholism, smoking, uh, biking, biting pencils, mm, oral people with oral type of personality are trying to achieve satisfaction through their mouth. And because uh, the child is completely dependent on his mother or his caretaker, this is the period when the baby develops a sense of trust and comfort. And the first uh, emotional contact is a reciprocal smile uh, when, which happens between first and second month of baby's life. Anxiety uh, of losing mother develops at seven months. So uh, the baby um, at the earliest stage before, like on, on the first or second month, he um, can treat uh, basically any adult as his mother. But uh, when he is about six to seven months old, he can um, identify his mother and he can uh, experience stress and fear and anxiety if mother is leaving him for a long period of time. And long period of time is like a day, two days a week or more than a week, right? Um, a fear of strangers is formed at about, at about eight months old. 
and um, the child becomes extremely sensitive to develop any type of anxiety or fears or stress at seven to nine months, months old. So it's very important for mommy to be with her baby during the first nine months of his life. And at this age, we form um, the following beliefs. The, the world is a safe place or the world is a dangerous place, is not a safe place. And I cannot trust this world. My life is not safe. The second belief is that uh, the world is uh, an abundant place. Uh, I have, I can get anything I want. The world has unlimited resources or the world has limited resources and I have to fight for those resources. It's not enough for everyone. And the third belief is I cannot trust people or I can trust people. Basically, if my mom is always here for me, if she satisfied, satisfies my desires, then I can trust other people. If uh, the child uh, was uh, separated from his mother, then most likely he will develop a belief that I cannot trust other people and he will have a trust issues later uh, when he will try to create a relationship, love and romantic relationship in his life. Uh, mother supposed to hold her baby while breastfeed or bottle feeding. This is also how baby develops his first fundamental ability to connect with other people through connection with his mother. And as a result, again, if uh, mother did not hold the baby, if he did not feel her body, then uh, when the baby grows up, he might develop a trust issues and he might struggle with creating a friendship and uh, um, loving, caring, romantic relationship. This type of baby is gonna grow up into an adult who will have difficulties of creating emotional deep contact with other people. He might become a victim of toxic relationship. He might end up in a relationship with a narcissistic person and he might uh, Mm, feel himself as a victim and be aggressive towards other people. Uh, the fixation on this stage, basically when uh, the baby did not receive enough milk, when uh, the baby had a problem with sucking a mother nipple, or when mother did not generate enough milk, or maybe the uh, maybe mother did generate enough milk but baby had the problem with the sucking it or maybe if he didn't have enough milk and he had to be aggressive and suck harder uh, or maybe the mother was not holding the baby all of those things will create an oral fixation and oral fixation is a term which will lead to oral type of personality people or uh, fixation means that uh, a child had too much tension, too much stress, too much anxiety at this uh, period in his life. And uh, let's talk a little bit about the oral type of personality. And we can uh, divide uh, people in two groups, people with this type of personality. And um, it can be passive dependency or aggression personality. Uh, passive dependency is smoking or any type of oral fixation, oral addiction, alcohol, uh, gum, biting nails, uh, biting uh, any pencils, like any type of fixation uh, which we have around the mouth. Eating disorder, overeating or not eating enough. And we will talk about uh, eating uh, disorders and eating mechanism uh, on next uh, Thursday, next webinar, which is called Overeating and the Inner Child. This is all about the oral type of personality. Uh, if you cannot control uh, the amount of food that you eat, if you um, uh, go into the refrigerator and cannot stop yourself, then uh, please come to the next webinar. I will tell you about eight reasons why people do this. We're going to talk about this specific fixation in details. 
um, passive dependency also can um, can be uh, we can see it as a love addiction people who end up in toxic relationship the victim behavior dependent uh, uh, relationship where the person uh, depend on other person relationship with a narcissist and long distance relationship unrequited love also is here and the second type of uh, oral personality is aggressive uh, behavior aggressive dependency and uh, uh, is when a, when a child was sucking uh, mommy's nipple and did not get enough milk or the milk was not fat enough was did not have enough ingredient enough minerals or vitamins right so a baby became angry and aggressive and the child develops the belief system that in order for me to get what I want, in order for me to survive, basically, not just to get what I want, I want milk, I need milk in order to survive. So in order, in order for me to survive, I must be aggressive. I must be aggressive to achieve my goals. I must be aggressive to get from one destination to B, uh, from destination A to B. Examples, a person who creates fights out of anything, a person who likes to eat meat on a bone, like chicken wings with a bone, chips, any type of hard food, um, nuts, chewing gums, it's, it's like aggressive type of behavior, of uh, movement, aggressive movement, like meat from the bone. Um, a person who likes aggressive sport like MMA, boxing, wrestling, because the oral type of personality is based on the contact between mother and the child. And if the if mother was not holding the child, uh, as a result, we have a person who wants to have in close contact, aggressive close contact. And this is your martial arts, right? MMA, boxing, wrestling, close, aggressive contact, aggressive type of personality. Um, a, another example, a person who bites his nails or bites pencils, a person who uh, has desires of uh, fighting, of argument, and a person who likes to argument. A person who uses sarcasm a lot, uh, uh, offensive jokes, it's like biting with your words, with your mouth, biting, sarcasm. And a person who likes to use others to meet his own needs. And uh, again, uh, on the online training, the third week, we're going to talk about parents' love as a foundation for a happy life. And again, uh, we're gonna talk, we're gonna do the meditation, right? The child wants to be protected, to be loved and to be happy. We're gonna talk about the divine parents uh, and exercise the divine parents uh, and how important is it to feel that your life and you are important for your parents. And we're gonna do an exercise where you can actually feel that and you can experience that feeling and it's going to be the foundation for your inner child, the foundation for healing your uh, childhood trauma. And we're going to do the exercise, uh, the divine egg, and you will be able to reborn, to go and experience these feelings of new life. And you're going to reborn into the world, uh, which is an abundant, loving place.